Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, if there is something else that we could talk about in Windows 10 at seven years, Microsoft Edge. So Microsoft Edge became Microsoft Edge, but it's not the same Microsoft Edge that was there before. So basically what happens is that Windows 10 when it arrived in July of 2015, introduced to us a unfinished browser. And boy, was it unfinished, and boy, did it feel like an unfinished product. To a point where we thought, you know what, you should have kept Internet Explorer for a little while until you do finish Edge. And the first version of Edge was very different. The original Edge was... A, um, at its own engine. It was different from, you know, Chrome and Chromium-based browsers. So technically, for a while, what we had was Microsoft Edge and Firefox, two different engines, and we had all the rest on the Chromium uh, project. At some point, and I was a big user of Edge. Actually, I am a user of mostly anything else in Chrome, except I use Chrome for very specific tasks that it's good at, um, like streaming on YouTube, for example. I'll sometimes use the Chrome browser to do it, although now Edge seemed to do it really well, too. But... There were some problems that people were complaining of the most, the biggest complaint that happened first. And I saw that with my own family, people that moved to Windows 10. And the fact that the first icon of Edge was so similar to Internet Explorer, people thought it was Internet Explorer. And what happened is that they couldn't find, and that happened to a couple of people I know. Where's my bookmarks? Where are my favorites? They're not there anymore. And people just couldn't realize that, you know, yeah, but it's because you're not in the Internet Explorer browser. You're in Edge. I know the icon resembles, and that's the first mistake they made. They should have made a truly new icon that was totally different. Even the new icon we have today is still better than the original Edge icon. But they should have, from the start, just said, this is the new browser. It's called Edge and different icon and so on. Even more to that, they should have said, by the way, we can import everything from Internet Explorer if you want to use this browser. Um, you know, when we say that Microsoft misses the point on so many things, it misses the point on how people use their computers, which is ironic when you think that they're creating an operating system for people to use their computers. This isn't a great example of where they're missing the boat all the time. And then there was problems with Edge. A lot of websites weren't that compatible. Websites, some websites didn't show up well. Some websites didn't work at all. And because a lot of places, they just didn't want to upgrade the code to have some compatibility with the um, Edge browser of the time, it just ended up that, you know what? Forget it. This is not, this is not working. And Microsoft realized it's not working. People weren't using Edge. It was not taking on. Actually, the Edge Chromium today is taking on more than Edge ever did, which is kind of interesting. And they just scrapped Edge and decided, let's start a new browser. But they did it with something that is the Chromium project. Now, I like to have different types of engines. I think the fact that Firefox exists is nice. I think that Edge, when it was its own engine, also is nice. It's kind of nice to have diversity. But we have to admit there's one thing about the fact that Edge is Chromium-based, is that it shares a lot of, first of all, Chrome options, including the extensions. And also, it renders the browser much more compatible. But what's nice, at least with the Chromium project, which is an open source project, you can design your own browser to be very different. 
and you can add a lot of different features that you won't see, for example, in Chrome. And you know, the new Edge does have some of those things, including the the, the tracking stuff, and it, it is a step above Chrome for privacy in some way. But um, you know, it's interesting to see how Microsoft, that had a dominant browser, Internet Explorer, that was actually one of the main reasons why they got into trouble um, is struggling in the browser now once again. Uh, although the Chromium-based edge, like I said, you know, we saw this week that it was close to 11% market share. Well, um, you know, it's, it's better than the original edge ever was. And it's still a work in progress, but it's it's I think it's a good browser. And, um, you know, depending on what you want to do. Some use it, some like it, some don't, and we'll go to Chrome or any other. Some use Brave, some use Opera, some use Firefox. Um, you know, the, the, the choice is there at least. Uh, but unfortunately, um, maybe there is a sad point to the fact that, well, we have one less browser that has its own unique engine. And that uh, there's a lot of, you know, standardization into going to Chromium for your browsers. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.